$17,000. That's what an Aransas past family wants a contractor to refund them. They claim he did poor work at their home, plus the job's not done. The contractor has a different story. At first glance, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong. But they wanted to show us why they called us. But this is where it starts. I was told by a contractor that wanted to tear this place down, saying it's not passable. One of the reasons Marshall says he called is this unfinished room addition. He told me if I would have had the proper doors and the proper windows, they would have been done right. I will guarantee you, but you don't have the right doors and windows. And I said, yes, there's nothing wrong with these doors and window, Calvin. The problem is, is your carpenters don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to put them in right. Marshall says the crew from Calvin's Remodeling eventually just walked off the job. And he came in here with an attitude, and then as he left, he left with a real bad attitude, told his crew to pick up the stuff, sorry, pick up the stuff and leave. And that's just the way they left it. Here's the contract signed on June 18th of this year by the Marshalls and Calvin Collins of Calvin's Remodeling. Total cost of work to be done, $22,100, of which Marshall says he's paid all but $800. Marshall also has issues with what the crew did to the deck, his swimming pool, and cuts like this on his patio furniture. So what is it that you want? I want this fixed. If not, give me my money back and pay for the people that are gonna come over here and tear this down. For his part, Calvin Collins and his business partner, William Simmons, insist the marshals have consistently interfered with their workers. They've been interfering with us for the last four months. I've hired around 12 carpenters to come out there Okay. Every time we come out there to work, they stand outside or they sit outside watching them, and they call me or my business partner and tell us we need to come get them out of there. Collins acknowledges there's still work to be done at the Marshall's home. The contract says they're supposed to remove all this debris, and there's also an issue over permits. So... We've kind of come to a conclusion that we're just going to go to court over it. Well, the Marshalls have been making claims against Collins Insurance Company, so an adjuster visited the Marshalls' home this afternoon. We'll check with Mr. Collins and the Marshalls, see how that turned out. As always, whenever you need help from the troubleshooters, you know what to do. Just send us an email, troubleshooters at kztv10.com.